All right, guys. Today I'll play a couple of nine ball racks, and I will give, will try to give like as in depth comments as possible. I'll just uh, play uh, like I break and play run out. If I don't have position on the one, I'll just play ball in hand. Like play four five racks depending on the how it goes. With this break, like the one ball on the spot, uh, and with a pattern rack, like with a template, magic rack, we have like 99% of, ch of probability to make the win ball. That's why we have to play the control, controlled uh, break on the one, like aim one ball here. Probably here to rails and like, near the corner. I prefer the, this means we should play the cut break a little bit to the left on the one and try to leave the cue ball from the rail like in the middle of the table. Let's see if I can do this. Like not very hard, but like medium speed with the left spin also. Yeah, you see, looks like perfect. Yeah. Mm. It was perfect till the two ball went here. Yeah, we have a clear shot on the one. That means we don't have to masse it. If we would have to masse, like play curve shot, that's when we wouldn't have a chance to play position on the two. Now we have a chance to play position. It's not easy, like we should play somewhere here and the options, the options. we can play thin like using cheating the pocket thin like and with the cue ball within sight like playing to the short trail then probably somewhere here yeah, it's not it's not an easy because Easy sh an easy shot because it's kind of a depending when the right spin and follow will take over. Also, another option is to play some kind of draw with the left spin, like short rail, long rail. Yeah, and well, here, no, it's not good because also with the left spin it's very difficult to predict yeah, actually i'll try to play the first shot with inside let's see maybe i even can like break up like hit the two ball let's see playing thin like to the right side of the pocket and with the right spin no follow, yeah, without without follow, just right spin. Perfect, absolutely perfect. We get kind of lucky. Not like absolutely perfect because now we have the five ball to solve. But in terms of position on the two, it's perfect. Yeah, and now the five ball doesn't go here to play position for the five, like in this spot, it's too small, I think. But we have like plenty of balls to decide what to do. Yeah, probably just 
depending on the angle on, on the 4, we can decide what to do with the position on the 5. Yeah, now just playing position 1 rail for the, for the 3. Like hold the cue ball, low left. Perfect. Yeah, now the best case scenario would be to have a small angle on the four to probably break this, like hit the nine ball. Or play position, play position like somewhere here for the corner. First of all, we need, we need an angle on the four. It's good. Yeah, let's try this way. Like playing kind of, kind of into the nine, kind of into the nine and not uh, with a lot of speed, like softly. And if we miss the nine to the right, we still might have a shot on the five into the side, probably. Like, yeah, let's do this. Let's try to hit the nine softly. And also left spin, because if we miss the nine to the right, like we need right spin, oh, left spin, sorry. Uh, left spin to make the cue ball go to the left towards the position on the five. Yeah, I hit it wrong, I hit it the nine on the right side. Like in the game, probably. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually I like this choice. Like the first choice is the safe, like the safety, like lock up behind the nine is not difficult. Just roll up. Just uh, you need to feel the cloth, and actually, the five nine is not such a difficult shot because we can play the nine of the six. It's like it widens our possibility of hitting the white, uh, the five. Sorry, we can hit like like this, like this, like anywhere. Like if the nine clips the six, it's good. As I see, I'm seeing this. Even this is good, probably. Let's try to hit like five, nine, cam nine of the six carom. And for this, you see, we can play just five straight in the center of the bucket, like straight. And it will be good. Five, si uh, nine of the six. Just pretend like there is no 6-9, just play the 5 ball into the bucket. Should be okay. Perfect. Yeah, we got kind of uh, lucky with this with uh, this combination. It's probably the longest break and run I have ever played in my life. <laughs> also, not an easy to explain all things. Yeah, I hope you like this analysis. I'm I'm doing it, this not like necessarily for like to upload this video, like to 
not necessarily exactly for this video, just for practicing, because I want to be able to explain uh, things like on the fly, in not in my native English uh, language. It's actually pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah, same again. Trying to hit the one ball a little bit, probably like three quarters ball hit, and the one ball goes near the corner pocket. Felt firstly, I felt like this is a little bit soft or actually a little bit thin, but probably was in range of good uh, hit on the one like range from a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker, it's fine. Yeah, and here, like, I think it's textbook choice between like probably some amateurs players they like prefer to play with outside English like low but here it's like if you play with outside with the like right uh, bottom like here it's not good already like you playing with side pocket, with the scratch, like absolutely natural shot, three rails, four rails, like just right, oh, sorry, left, top left spin. And like no chance, if you put the one, no chance you will uh, mess up this position, just. Just amount of spin is crucial, like not probably like two tips to the left because too much you will overrun the position playing somewhere here hit this rail and end up on the two let's see I'm feeling already too soft, but still without the fourth cushion, still okay position. Yeah. Now just a little bit uh, like easy roll, roll, like rolling shot, and probably apply a little bit right spin, not to hit the nine. Little bit right, like top and little bit right. too much right actually yeah now I have to reach for this and here we, uh, the best choice is to play two rails and travel the cue ball will travel in the line of the future shot on the five yeah I need my extension for this That. Like high high left spin. Hit the uh, the rail like a little bit somewhere here. good a little bit thin on the one yeah because if we would we were straighter on the five on the five sorry we could play like just stun to the rail now we have to play uh, two rails like just center ball like a little bit follow center
Uh, yeah, I want it to be a little bit, to have a little bit more angle. Because now we have to create angle to use, like using more power. And this is dangerous. We can end up, uh, could end up behind the eight. But I still, I prefer still risking this, because if we play like one rail, we can end up still behind the eight and can end up too thin on the eight, on the seven. Yeah, just if I hit the short rail, like from this second diamond up to this, like this area, I would be fine. Yeah. Just not scratch and not hit. Don't scratch and don't hit the ball uh, before the second diamond. Just follow. Little bit of inside maybe. Let's spin. You see, perfect. I hit somewhere here. Again, not perfect. I mean, like perfect would be to have, to be able to play position on the to the side. But still, I can play position to the corner. Just draw a little bit. Cheat in the pocket a little bit and make sure to leave an angle on the eight because if you end up straight, you would have to play like or stop and have the more difficult nine but still yeah it's already like a detail details now i have an angle and cue ball naturally will travel towards the straight line just like stun draw much time like 15 minutes probably or 20 minutes I don't know and we on two racks 